All right, welcome to another unboxing. I have a BAM Geek box. Yep, still got one. Um, this arrived today, October 7th, 2023. It is just 4.30 p.m. <clears throat> I have the day off. Um, I did decide to go ahead and actually look up to see what the ones were, because this should be the September box. Uh, the September box is Craven, which is funny because that movie got postponed. Uh, Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem, which I've seen. It's on Paramount Plus, and I don't like it. Uh, WandaVision and Ahsoka. Mm. I got this from the uh, New Rockstars uh, shop. It just had its finale. And there's going to be more, obviously, because it... it had a cliffhanger, kind of. So, anyway, um, ooh. oh no, I'm just taking the label off this. I need water. Okay, let's get to it. All right, so. These are all modern, too. So usually you have black paper. Just going to put this right there. <laughs> um, they're usually like one that is older, like something from like 30 plus years ago kind of thing. But that's not the case. <laughs> um, the oldest thing on here would be WandaVision. And that's, <laughs> that's only like. Pushing three. All right, let's do the pen. The pen is this thing. That's Craven. Okay, that's Craven. I, I guess. Yeah. Which I've seen the trailer for, and I'm confused. I don't. I don't know about it. It seems kind of weird. I haven't been checking these to see whether or not they're. Uh, where it's numbered. But there's only, um, let's see, you have October box, November box, and there's only three more boxes. No numbers. So it's, uh, <sighs> ultimately, I think I got more boxes than I thought I would get. All right, so if I were to guess, I got three more items. There's three more things. If I were to guess which one would be the autograph, Mm, I would think Mutant Mayhem simply, simply because it's animated. Even though that just came out this year, but Craven is getting pushed back, and uh, Ahsoka just finished up its first season. So, and WandaVision is not even three years old, so. Um, I just can't think of any autographs from the other ones that would exist. And. I just did not like Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. I like the animation. I like that it was different, but they butchered what it. Um, what's up, I, man? That song played, and it, it was like I don't know who doing it. It. Oh my god. Oh, it butchered that song. And the, and the, in the story, um, like Splinter's background and everything. Uh, what? He's just some random New York rat? Whatever. Uh, this looks like a throwing store. Okay. So, ooh. Um, so this would be the Ninja Turtle one then. So, uh, I don't know, maybe WandaVision has the autograph. Because <laughs> now we got prints. I'm going to bring these up. I'm trying to... They're face down. They're usually face down. Okay. You have one that's in like this little cart thingy. That's the autograph. This is the print. There's Ahsoka. Ooh. I like that. Along with the owl. So, WandaVision, whose autograph could it be? I 
a kid. <laughs> it's a kid's autograph. <laughs> It's who they could afford. Okay. So we have a kid's autograph. And Craven Pin, a Ninja Star. And so I like this the more. I like this one the most. Uh, I just find it weird to get like an autograph from a kid. That's just, that seems weird to me. But I mean. If Billy and Tommy are going to be part of the MCU and they keep them, then, I mean, they're going to be part of the MCU. So. Oh, yeah, and this is number 316 out of 1150. And it's back at Authenticated. And again, you have to go to the site. You have to go to the site to see what the uh, thing is. Okay, now, Ahsoka, I like the show, and the thing is, is I do agree with some people, I've watched some things where it's like, I agree with some people where I say, you're probably not going to get a lot out of it unless you have watched Rebels, and I actually did end up watching Star Wars Rebels. Um, I think I had about, I've had, I had at least one full season complete before Ahsoka began, I think, or I started a few episodes, I can't remember, and then I was watching it. And then I binged, uh, I binged a lot of it just what, a month ago. When was there the when was there the tropical storm? Not even just three weeks ago. No, two weeks ago. Okay, so that's when I binged the third and fourth seasons. It was literally just two weeks ago. Okay, so. I may have had a few episodes watched just to get the grasp of the characters, and then I eventually got it where I could watch. I, I, I have it now where I actually have time to watch things now because it's the, it's the fall winter time frame. I work at a grocery store on the beach, so summer's always busy, and um, we still had six trucks going in through September, so it's still kind of annoying. So, uh, but now we're we're down to where they're. I'm only scheduled thirty hours next week. I'm full time. But, uh. Yeah, you get. You get more out of it if you watch Rebels. I enjoyed watching Rebels. I did. I can't remember. Was my Ahsoka, was it orange background or blue background? I forgot. Orange. Okay, so it's not the. Okay. Of course it's not. So that's the... Sorry, I can't get the... Um, what was I saying? And the Mutant Mayhem, I just didn't... I just didn't like a lot of it. I didn't like the characterization. I didn't like you had like this... All these... Um, villains and they weren't very villainy and uh you didn't have it's okay so you do something different you're not gonna have shredder in the foot clan um but now i'm wondering like how do you do it because there's no mention of Orokosaki. there's no mention of um which you know, they're gonna have shredder so you're gonna have a Orokosaki. And then Amato Yoshi, which of course was it, it depends on which I, I I don't remember I don't know which one is the more accurate one from the comics. I could look that up. <laughs> uh, when it comes to Ninja Turtles, all I know is the animated eighty seven series, and then I know the nineteen ninety movie. So in the animated series, uh, Amato Yoshi just went to or, or came to New York. And he made friends with the rats. And when he was exposed to the mutagen, after seeing some turtles, baby turtles exposed to mutagen, um, and they were baby turtles, so they they their mutation mutated them as little baby, slightly um, humanoidish turtles, and and then they grew up to be teenagers. And because he was already older, 
he ended up just being an older rat man because he was friends with rats. And that's just how it seemed to work. <laughs> um, and in the movie, he was the rat of Amato Yoshi and um, found himself in New York in the sewers and then saw the turtles and then he, and then it just shows where it's just like you take the animals and the mutation makes them more um, human-like. The thing is, is they're trained in ninjutsu, which is, you know, this is why there's so much like Japanese lore stuff with the Ninja Turtles, because they're the Ninja Turtles. And it's like, how can you have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and you don't, all you do is have it where, oh, he was just watching like these, this, uh, where they had a stupid, um, like videos of people doing uh, ninja exercises things and teaching you the auto ninjutsu and it's like, oh, that's all he was doing. He was watching TV. And then he taught it to the turtles. And it's like, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it's just, yeah. And in the comics, he was, uh, Splinter was a pet rat to combat various foes, most notably involving the likes of the Foot Clan and their leader, Oroko Saki. Who secretly takes on the identity of the Shredder. Yeah. Like, that stuff is part of the lore. It's like, that doesn't even exist. Why is Splinter's origin inconsistent in various TMNT series? Yeah. Yes, the one in the the one in the one movie is the same origin story in the original Mirage comics. And the IDW relaunch comics and live-action movies... Well, I, I, I have not seen the... The Megan Fox. No, I haven't seen that one. I I am not watching that. And the 2003 animated series. And another one, Splinter was a Mato Yoshi's. It was a Mato Yoshi himself and was mutated to Splinter due to exposure to mutagenic views. This is the 87 animated series, the Archie comics, and the new 2012 animated series. Well, that's not what they went with. Uh, this stupid thing. This this article this this is from this is a post from like over ten years ago. Yeah, me mayhem splinter is just a normal rat who is abused and isolated, adopting the ooze drenched turtles. Yep, that's all they did. It's just just a regular old rat. Yeah, I don't like it. Okay, I don't want to spend too much time on this because I got another. Uh, I got something else to unbox and then. Uh, All right, so that's it. I had a band box, Craven, Mutant Mayhem, WandaVision, Ahsoka. All right, night.